Hey, this is Sam bringing you a Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a parallax background for 2D games. Uh, the tutorial will be done over three videos, and this is part one. Uh, so let's go into it. So the first thing we need to do is create a material um, with a parameter that can change the, the offset value. So go into the material. I've created a materials folder using a empty uh, 2D side scroll example map. So we're just going to right click in here, go to materials and textures, material, and I'm going to call that parallax parallax material. Double click to open it. Uh, we can just quickly just don't dock it just yet. So in this tutorial, I've got a standard mountains background, which is a TGA file, and it's had the paper 2D settings applied to it. So sprite actions apply paper 2D texture settings. That triggers the um, so it shows the the alpha channel. Drag and drop it into there, and now we can dock it. So first we need to do is a single value parameter. So hold one left click and then that creates a single float value right click convert to parameter and we're going to call the parameter offset okay so what we need to do now is we need to append it to zero so hold one left click again append And then we're going to click the zero here. Next thing we need is texture coordinate. Uh, texture coordinate. I'm going to add the texture coordinates to that as well. And then I'm going to plug that into UVs. Now for the material. We just need to use the emissive and the opacity. So if you left click on the parallax material, go into shading model, you want that to be unlit. And as for the blend mode, you want that to be translucent. Plug the RGB value into the emissive, and then just plug the alpha into the opacity. And as you can see here, it's basically captured the bit that's coloured and the bit the, the alpha is getting rid of the, the sky value. Hit apply, hit save, and that's that basic material ready to be set up. Next thing we need to do is we need to set up a camera actor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new content folder. I'm just going to call that camera. Double click to go into it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to get a blueprint class. I'm going to choose actor. And I'm going to call that parallax camera. Double click to go into it. And it's docked up to the top at the moment. So while we're in here, I'm just going to put save on compile uh, on success only to save having to keep uh, clicking save. So inside this blueprint, we want to add a camera. So type camera. We'll keep that the same. And next thing we need to do is we need to add a clip. So as you can see, the plane's in the wrong place. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to move that plane to 270. That was just the values that I was I had before. And then what I'm going to also do now is I'm just going to change the rotation as well. So it's going to be 90 degrees on the X and it's going to be 90 degrees on the Z. So that's now the correct distance. And I'm just going to quickly apply the material that I created. So type in parallax material. And as you can see, it's now appeared in the scene, but the scale looks a bit off compared to 
and the actual image. So we just need to set the scale values up. So for experimentation, I said that the best scale for me would be 15 and 7.5. And that's it. So once we have our parallax camera, I'm just going to quickly drag this into the world. I'm just going to move it around a bit. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. I'm just going to move it here so it, the background is behind the player character. Okay, so that's the camera app to set up. So in part two, we'll go over, over how to create the codes so that the, the parallax effect happens. So I'll see you in part two.